Let's take a look at finding the five number summary on a TI-30X, uh, TI-30XS calculator. Okay, so we're going to find a five number summary of the following data. So let's go ahead and put it in. So I press my data. I already got some numbers there. I press delete over and over to clean them out. This is the same uh, data set I'm entering over and over. If I press data, it'll bring up the clear menu. And this is why you're in data. So then you press enter and clear one, it'll clear out uh, L1. So a very quick way to do it. So I got 13, enter, 19, enter, 23, enter, 31, enter, 45, enter, 46, enter, 47, enter, 51, enter, and 53, enter. Now after we get that input, then we'll do a second mode exit out. And we're going to do a second data to bring it up to the stats menu. And we want to choose one of our stats because we've got a single list of numbers. So I press enter on it. Now we put our numbers in L1 and it's highlighted, so that's fine. If we put our numbers in L2, we'd want to write her over to L2 and press enter on it. Now frequency is always one for this class. And then I'll down arrow to calculate and press enter. Okay, now if I um, down arrow, our first one is the min x. And that's from the first problem, or the previous problem. But our min, that's our quartiles, min is 13. And um, this is our five number summary. Next thing we want is Q1, our first quartile. So if I down arrow again, that gives me 21. The next one we want is the second quartile or the median. They're the same thing. So the Q2 is the median, which is 45. Q3, if I down arrow one more time, gives us 49. And then the last thing we need is a max. And again, if I down arrow one more time, we get max is 53. Now that would be our five number summary. Sometimes people write it that way. Sometimes they simply just do 13 comma 21 comma 45 comma 49 comma 53. In this video, we took a look at how to find a five number summary on a TI-30XS calculator.